hi viewers welcome back in this tutorial i am going to show a detailed presentation on the topic production of citric acid i want to explain what is citric acid what are the uses its biochemical basis its fermentation and various bioparameters affecting its fermentation okay so let's move on to topic citric acid was first discovered as a constituent of lemon this acid was first produced by john and edmund it is a tribasic acid and a weak organic acid at temperature greater than 175 degrees celsius citric acid is converted to itaconic acid or aconitic acid you know that citric acid is an intermediate in the krebs cycle or citric acid cycle citric acid is present in every living organism it was first isolated from lemons lemons contain 7 to 9 percentage citric acid okay today 99 percentage of world's citric acid comes from microbial fermentation here you can see some of the uses of citric acid citric acid has wide applications in various industries like food industry medicine and pharmaceutical industry cosmetic industry electroplating leather tanning detergent manufacture and chemical industry first one food industry in food industry it is used as a food acidulant or artificial flavoring agent okay sodium citrate can be used in the cheese production due to its pleasant taste and palatability it is used as a flavoring agent in the food items okay next application medicine and pharmacy it is used in blood transfusion bacteriology and used to prevent the blood clotting and also used in effervescent powder and it is universally present in living things so it is serve as a source of energy okay these are the applications in the medicine and pharmacy okay once more it can serve as a source of energy and it is used in effervescent powder it is used in the blood transfusion and trisodium citrate used as a blood preservative or used to prevent the blood clotting okay next application comes in cosmetic industry it is used in astringent lotions astringent lotions means after shave lotions it is because of its low ph and also it is used in hair rinses and wig setting fluids okay and also citric acid used in electroplating 
leather tanning, detergent manufacture, etc. It is used in chemical industry as an anti-foam agent. Okay, and for the treatment of textiles. In the metal industry, pure metals are complexed with citrate and produced as metal citrates. Okay. So these are the applications or the uses of citric acid. Next, we can discuss the biochemical basis of citric acid. Citric acid is an intermediate in the TCA cycle. TCA stands for tricarboxylic acid cycle. It is also called Krebs cycle. Okay. So the citric acid is a primary metabolic product of citric acid cycle. Here the glucose is the main carbon source for the citric acid production. Okay. The glucose is converted to pyruvate that is two molecules of pyruvate by glycolysis. Pyruvate forms acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Okay. Acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate which condenses to form citrate. Okay. So oxaloacetate plus acetyl-CoA gives citric acid. Okay. The process catalyzed by the enzyme citrate synthase. Okay. The increased citric acid is due to enhanced biosynthesis. Further, there are anaplerotic reactions that replenish the TCA cycle intermediates to keep the cycle continuously in operation. Okay. So, the citric acid converted to isocitric acid then to oxalosuccinic acid, then alpha ketoglutaric acid, succinyl CoA, succinic acid, fumaric acid, malic acid, alpha ketosuccinic acid, and the cycle continues like that. Okay. Next is the Citric acid accumulation. The acid can be caused to accumulate by the following methods. There are three methods. First one, by mutation. That is, by mutant organism that lack the essential enzyme in the TCA cycle. Okay. You can use a mutant organism. Okay. That organism lack an essential enzyme involved in the TCA cycle. There are several enzymes involved in the TCA cycle. So, a mutant organism that lack a special enzyme required in the TCA cycle. Then second step by altering the temperature, pH, medium composition etc third one the concentration of iron manganese magnesium zinc and phosphate must be limited to ensure their removal the medium is treated with ferrocyanate or iron exchange resins 
the metal ions are required as prosthetic dope in the enzyme of the tca cycle so we have covered citric acid its uses and its biochemical basis next we can discuss fermentation process fermentation process is based on use of molasses and various strains of aspergillus niger aspergillus is the mainly used strain used for the fermentation process okay that is it is mainly used for the production of citric acid occasionally uses aspergillus venti okay candida gular monti used to produce citric acid from sugar there are three process surface culture process submerged culture process by aspergillus niger and finally submerged culture process by yeast okay we can discuss each and every process in detail here an outline of production of citric acid is given that is sucrose or the sugar acted upon by aspergillus niger and produces citric acid it is a weak organic acid okay the aspergillus niger require air for its growth okay so sucrose plus water gives citric acid first method of production is surface culture process it is an old method but still practiced in this process culture is inoculated across the surface of the medium so the culture remains on the surface throughout the fermentation process hence it is called stationary fermentation okay the solid substrate such as wheat bran or pulp from sweet potato are used as media ph is 4 to 5 then the media is sterilized okay after the sterilization aspergillus niger spores are spread as layers okay that is aspergillus niger is inoculated into the media then it is incubated at 28 degree celsius so the organism grow at that temperature and the growth can be increased by the addition of alpha amylase alpha amylase is an enzyme acts on the starch okay so the solid state fermentation takes place and this process require about 80 to 100 hours for the production of citric acid okay there are several factors affects the fermentation process that are listed here first one fungi second one inoculum preparation third one temperature fourth one ph then time aeration carbon source inorganic salt ratio of surface area to the volume yield and recovery this all will affect the process first factor fungi and its inoculum preparation it is very important to choose 
suitable fungal strain for the production several strains are used for the production that include aspergillus nigra aspergillus clavatus penicillium luteum penicillium citrinum and mucor pyriformis here the mainly used strain is aspergillus nigra aspergillus nigra used as main strain because it is an efficient strain and it have uniform biochemical property and it is easy to cultivate or grow and it produces only small amount of oxaloacetic acid okay these are the features of aspergillus nigra once more aspergillus nigra is an efficient strain to produce lactic acid and it have uniform biochemical property it produces high amount of citric acid and low amount of oxaloacetic acid and it is easy to cultivate okay then the inoculum preparation inoculate the fungus from a stock culture into a suitable sporulation medium then the culture incubate at 25 degrees celsius for 4 to 14 days during that period spores are produced fungal spores are produced okay here the fungus is aspergillus nigra okay then the spores are added to the production medium and keep them on floating on the surface this is done by a suitable inoculating device okay the ph of the medium is 3.4 to 3.5 and the ph is adjusted with hcl hcl means hydrochloric acid here the calcium carbonate is not added to the medium for the ph adjustment because the addition of calcium carbonate may cause contamination in its absence it favors high yield of citric acid and short fermentation time the low ph are desirable for the easy sterilization and formation of citric acid and to reduce the contamination okay the temperature requirement is 26 to 28 degrees celsius and aspergillus nigra require aeration in optimum level and the time requirement is about 7 to 10 days okay so these are the another bioparameters next bioparameters carbon source and inorganic salt carbon source is sucrose sucrose at less than 15 percentage is the best source for the production glucose and fructose produces low yield precautions must be taken to avoid the hydrolysis of the sucrose beet molasses can be used as a source of carbon but it contains high amount of trace metals so it require pre treatment with ferrocyanide followed by ion exchange resins the next bioparameter inorganic salt in addition to the carbon hydrogen and oxygen certain trace metals like nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur 
and magnesium are needed in the fermentation okay so it is essential to add ammonium nitrate potassium hydrogen phosphate dipotassium hydrogen phosphate magnesium sulfate in minimum quantity okay the ratio of surface area to the volume is an important parameter the bio conversion of sugar to the citric acid is depend upon the surface area to the volume ratio that is volume to the surface area decreases then the yield increases okay that means the surface area increases then high bio conversion occurs then the yield is about 60 to 80 g of anhydrous citric acid per 100 g of sugar last bio parameter is the recovery recovery is a difficult process it is due to the presence of unconverted sugar and the presence of other acid fermentation products and presence of trace salt as impurities okay you can see here the process of recovery first step the fermentation liquid is drained off to separate the mycelium okay then it is treated with milk of lime to precipitate calcium citrate then the calcium citrate is filtered and washed then it is treated with sulfuric acid to liberate citric acid and calcium sulfate again it is filtered and washed then it is subjected to decolorization by activated charcoal and undergo demineralization then the citric acid is evaporated and crystallized this is the process of recovery second production process is the submerged culture process by aspergillus niger in this process the fungus is grown dispersed through a liquid production medium it is carried out in the fermentation vessel the fermentation tank is equipped with mechanical agitator and sparger in this process mold spores are produced under aseptic condition and then transferred to the production tank containing medium aseptically high aeration rate are necessary that is 1.5 volt per minute okay samples are regularly withdrawn to determine the citric acid and sugar content ph and dissolved oxygen are also checked the medium used is the molasses yield is greater than 90 percentage and the time requirement is 5 to 14 days at 27 to 33 degrees celsius okay in the submerged culture process the organisms are immersed in medium there are two types two types of fermenters steroid bioreactor and airlift bioreactor third process is submerged culture process by yeast in 1970 demonstrated the production of citric acid by the species of yeast example candida gular monde 
it is ground submerged in a medium containing glucose or black strap molasses with equal amount of sugar the time requirement is less than that of the submerged culture process by aspergillus nigra that is incubation period is 3 days at 30 degree celsius okay this can be also carried out by using candida lipolytica and this process consists of single vessel so this is about the fermentation process of citric acid i think you understood this topic if you have any doubt you can ask me okay thank you